Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Hey there! Have you ever wondered how your coffee stays piping hot or your iced tea remains refreshingly cold hours after you've poured it into a thermos flask? It's one of those everyday objects we often take for granted, but once you realize the clever science behind it, it's actually pretty mind-blowing. Let's dive into the fascinating world of thermos flasks, and I'll break down exactly what's going on when you pour your drink inside one of these insulated wonders. First off, what's a thermos flask exactly? You've probably seen them around, maybe in your kitchen or on a camping trip. It's that sturdy container, usually made of stainless steel or plastic, that somehow manages to keep your hot drinks hot and your cold drinks cold. But how does it do that? The key lies in the way it's designed to control heat transfer. And the three main ways heat can move are through conduction, convection, and radiation. Each one of these plays a part in how thermos flasks work, but they're also what the thermos is designed to prevent. Let's unpack each one and see how it all ties together. Okay, first up, conduction. This is the transfer of heat through direct contact. You know when you touch a hot metal spoon and it feels like it's burning your hand? That's conduction at work. In a thermos flask, the last thing we want is for heat to be conducted out of the flask, making your coffee go cold, or for heat to be conducted in, warming up your chilled water. So what the thermos does is it creates a barrier. Most thermos flasks have an inner and outer layer, and between these two layers, there's usually a vacuum. The reason for this vacuum is simple. It's incredibly effective at stopping heat conduction. There's no air, and without air molecules bumping into each other and carrying heat away, conduction is pretty much halted. Next, we've got convection, which is all about the movement of fluids, like air or water transferring heat. Have you ever noticed how a hot air balloon rises? That's because the air inside it gets warm, becomes less dense, and rises, taking the heat with it. Inside a thermos, though, we don't want convection to happen either. Again, the vacuum between the inner and outer walls helps with this. With no air inside the vacuum to circulate, there's no way for heat to escape through convection. It's like a fortress of heat containment. Finally, there's radiation. This one might sound like science fiction, but it's just another natural way heat moves. You've felt it any time you've stood near a fire and felt the warmth on your skin. That's heat radiating toward you. Now thermos flasks are built with materials, like shiny reflective coatings on the inner walls, that bounce this radiant heat back into the flask. If your coffee's giving off heat, it's reflected right back in, helping to keep it warm longer. So, we've got the vacuum and the shiny walls helping to stop heat from escaping through conduction, convection, and radiation. But there's one more thing to consider. Insulation. Many thermos flasks are designed with an extra layer of insulation that helps regulate the temperature even further. The insulation acts as a buffer, minimizing any heat loss that might still manage to escape. Some modern thermos designs use foam insulation or other materials that add an extra layer of protection between your drink and the outside environment. And here's something cool. Insulation isn't just about keeping things hot. It works both ways. It keeps cold drinks cold too, by preventing heat from entering the flask. That's why your ice water stays chilly even after sitting in the sun for hours. The insulation is there to keep the outside heat from getting in. Let's circle back to the vacuum for a second, because it really is the unsung hero in all of this. Without the vacuum, your thermos would just be another regular container. The vacuum doesn't just slow down heat transfer, it practically stops it. It's what allows your thermos to work so well for both hot and cold drinks. This vacuum flask design was invented back in 1892 by Sir James Duar, a Scottish scientist. He wasn't actually trying to keep drinks hot or cold, though. 
Duar was trying to store liquid gases like oxygen and nitrogen at very low temperatures for scientific experiments. He needed a container that wouldn't let any heat in, and voila, the vacuum flask was born. It wasn't until later that people realized this invention could be used to keep beverages at the right temperature, and the thermos flask as we know it came to life. Now let's talk a little bit about the materials used in thermos flasks because this also plays a crucial role in how well they work. Most thermos flasks are made out of stainless steel these days, and there's a good reason for that. Stainless steel is durable, resistant to corrosion, and doesn't transfer heat very well, which is exactly what we want. Some older thermos flasks used glass instead of stainless steel. Glass has the advantage of being a poor conductor of heat, but it's also fragile and prone to breaking. That's why stainless steel has become the go-to choice for modern flasks. It offers the best of both worlds, strong heat retention and durability. The lids of thermos flasks are also carefully designed to prevent heat loss. A poorly designed lid could easily let heat escape, defeating the purpose of the flask. That's why the lids are usually screwed on tightly and made from insulating materials like plastic or rubber, which don't conduct heat very well. Let's switch gears a little and talk about how the thermos flask works in real life. Whether you're packing a hot soup for a winter hike or keeping your iced coffee cool on a summer day, the thermos flask has become a staple for anyone on the go. It's not just about convenience, though. It's about how thermodynamics, something we often think of as complicated, has been cleverly engineered into something simple and accessible. By stopping heat transfer in its tracks, thermos flasks allow us to enjoy our beverages at just the right temperature, hours after we've packed them. At the end of the day, the science behind the thermos flask is all about controlling heat transfer. By using a vacuum to stop conduction and convection, and reflective materials to combat radiation, the thermos flask is able to keep hot drinks hot and cold drinks cold for much longer than they would stay on their own. It's a perfect example of how science can make our everyday lives better, even in small, seemingly simple ways. Next time you pour your coffee into your thermos, or grab that ice-cold drink hours later, you'll know exactly what's going on inside. Thermodynamics may sound complicated, but when it's applied to something as useful as a thermos flask, it becomes a lot more relatable. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.